far too often I'll be in, in a consultation with the client and they will tell me, well, Damon, I shouldn't owe anything else on this car because I voluntarily turned the vehicle back in to the loan holder on that car. Unfortunately, that's not how it works and that's not going to be the case for that person. When you voluntarily surrender a car, it's still a repossession on your credit report. It's viewed, even if it's a voluntary repossession, it's still viewed basically the same as an involuntary repossession for credit purposes. In addition to that, if you voluntarily turn the vehicle in, they can still come after you for what's called the deficiency balance. So let me give you an example. If the car that you had, you owed $30,000 on it, and you thought that that car was really only worth probably about $20,000, and you no longer can afford the payments on that vehicle anymore, and you say, you know what, finance company, I can't do it. Here are the keys, take the keys to this car, I can't afford to pay it anymore. And you think, I'm doing the right thing, I can't pay it, so I'm giving it back. They're, the finance company is gonna take those keys, they're going to take the car, either resell it on their lot or take it to an auction and sell it. And that car that you thought was worth $20,000 at an auction, they only get, let's say, $15,000 for it. Okay, so you thought it's worth 20, you owe 30, but they only get back 15,000. The other $15,000 that they did not get back from that auction to get to $30,000, you are responsible for that $15,000. That's what's called a deficiency balance. It's the difference between what's owed on the vehicle and what the value of the vehicle is. So that $15,000, they can still come after you. They can sue you, get judgments, and get liens against you to collect that debt, even though you voluntarily turn that vehicle in. That's why we usually encourage folks, if you know you want to turn a vehicle in that you can no longer afford it and you're filing a bankruptcy, it's best to surrender the vehicle within the confines of your bankruptcy so that way they cannot come after you for a deficiency balance. If you have other questions, certainly don't hesitate to let us know. Thanks so much.